think I just heard the mailman out here. Let me check my mail. Been waiting on my box. Oh, it's in here. Oh, is that you in here too? Why are you in here in my mailbox? How you know where I live? Hey, so let's go check out my uh, my box. I, I'm curious to see. I haven't been home in a while, so I haven't really got to check my box. We've been on the road. We've been fishing tournaments. Uh, we've been doing media events. We've been all over the country catching bass. And man, I haven't caught up. I got like, like tons of mail to go through, including this month's mystery tackle box. You guys probably already have yours. I hadn't had a chance to check mine out. I'm curious to see what's in this puppy. I want to catch some fish on some baits that I don't normally use, which is one reason why I subscribe to Mystery Tackle Box because they get a bunch of, you know, like stuff that I would probably never buy and never try. It's always in my box. So uh, let's check this dude out. Let's see what's in here. Okay, we got some stuff in here. So I like this. My little boy loves these stickers. You got a little jig here. You know what? As crazy as this sounds, I'm actually pretty excited to try these bubblegum worms. If you're not a very smart fisherman, these are the baits for you. Smart baits. Because if you're dumb, you don't need to be dumb. Cabin Creek Bait Company got some little smoke-colored four-inch lizards in there. Dude, these things are legit. My little crankbait, my little crankbait from Marker Hunt fell out of this box. But isn't that, dude, that's, dude, if that's not a little thread fin shad right there, I'm going to... Oh, that's cool. So what you can do for the donkey rig, you can take, uh, you know, like a fluke style bait. And this is all the terminal tackle you need to make the, the donkey rig. We'll, we'll do a video on that. Subscribe. Check out the uh, link in the description box. You can see how you can get all this tackle in your mailbox every month, just like I do. All right. So like I mentioned, I haven't been home. I haven't got to fish home. We've been on the road fishing tournaments literally for three months now. Or so, because you know what, I've got seven weeks off that I get to spend here at time fishing with my little boy, going camping, doing a whole bunch of stuff. I think you're gonna like this video. It's a lot of fun. I hollered the entire time. Sorry, I hollered. I got excited because it's fun. Like, dude, they're they're like blowing up. They're like little baby sharks blowing up on the top water. So check this video out. Leave me a comment. Share this video. You guys are sharing my videos, dude. That's whack. Why are you sharing my videos? Share it with your friends. Share it with your mama. Give it to your dog or your cat or your hamster or whatever you got. Your goldfish. If you got an aquarium at home, play my videos in front of your daggum fish in the aquarium. Let them see it. They need to see what's going on out on the lake. So check this video out, dude. It's pretty dope. I think I had fun. I hope you guys like it too. What was the last one? Just, you know, just overall. Yeah, everyone's top fish. Yeah. Weeds were tight. How'd you do in that one? Ooh, got him. Uh, man, I missed the check by an ounce. Oh. Yeah. I had fun. It was the, my, my favorite turn, like literally, so I won one, right? Yeah. And it still was the funnest tournament all year. <laughs> you catch so many of them. Must be a little better than I thought he was, or he's got him got him hooked sideways. It didn't sound that big when he first hit it. That's a decent one. He's got it all sideways in his head. No, it's not. He left on the board. Yeah, we got on the board. You gotta put it in a live well. Uh what do you guys think? That's the biggest one I've seen so far. Really? Yeah. No way. That's the biggest one I've seen. No way. Where? By far. Oh, no way. By far. <laughs> the ones you held up yesterday for Instagram with Gene, man. Yeah. Good. Oh, I mean, like, that I've been in the boat before. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I mean. Like, no way. Are you kidding me? That's, that's like twice as big as what they're catching. It's, it's, there's, there'll be days when you throw up there, dude, and it's like, oh, I've been waiting on that all day. And there's other days, there he is. There he is. That's a better one that time. I was on the swimmers. Oh, he come off, you. Yeah, that was a top one. That was a swim oh. bait. No, swim bait. He come off, though. They're probably going to be going by the time we get over there. Yeah, you got to hit it. Yeah, uh. Oh, striper. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, striper on, baby. Striper. It's striper when we, yeah, this far off the bank, there's striper. Oh, it's a bass. Oh, my God. Dude. 
It's a freaking bass. It's a big old spot. Look at that big old thing. Oh my God, dude, that's not, that is not supposed to be a freaking, that's not supposed to be a bass. Oh my God, how did you do that? Look at stripers. I just knew there was gonna be striper out there. Like I was almost about to not even come out here. <laughs> he hit the swim bait as soon as I threw it out there and I was like, ah. Uh, Probably the only bass out there. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, keep that one. That's the spot. Unbelievable, Mr. T. Mr. T bringing the heat. <laughs> yeah. I just like usually when they're off the bank like that, it's, it's not bass right now. Now, later. Oh, Tyler. <laughs> yeah, that was one. It's funny, like, I haven't even got hit on them. Yeah, they won't hit mine either. Tyler, look at you. Get up here in the front of this boat in front of that daggum camera, boy. Right. That's a striper that time. Oh, oh sexy dog now. You be careful with that thing. <laughs> you be you be careful with that thing. Yeah, because y'all have a bunch of stripers out west, right? Yeah, I actually grew up in uh, Las Vegas. Yeah. Lake Mead. Yeah, where it's crazy. like, that's a big part of y'all's economy out that way too, right? Uh, there's big plier. I use big ones right beside my seat. Because, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather you step on the... Oh, God. So it was striper out here. Oh, good. Yeah. They can run with striper. Yeah. Look for them, probably. Well, no, like, they can't fly fishing. They'll stab him with a pair of pliers and then throw them back in the water. That's yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know where Yeah, right beside the seat. You see him lift that life jacket up? And no, on the other side. It was right oh, there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the only time I've ever been hooked was a striper. Yeah, right now the bass are just coming off beds, so they're just not... Uh, not out. Do we need those for pictures or no? You're type yeah. fish. So you have one fish, it's not my fish. I mean, you got a fish. I mean, how many walleye have you caught? Um, no, none last year. I hadn't caught any probably four or five. Oh, Tyler. Oh, Tyler. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, dude. Oh, my God. That was so freaking awesome. <laughs> oh, God. That was so good. Dude, that. You might not be able to lift that one with the rod. That, I don't want to break it. Yeah, you'll probably break it on that one. Um, I would, what you can do, though, is, is this. <laughs> I don't think you care if it comes off, so. <laughs> that's a hybrid, too. Yeah, that's, that's a big hybrid. Uh, lines, right? Yeah, that's a big hybrid. Oh, my God. Yeah, you saw that. He was <laughs> oh, God, that was so good. It was awesome. Oh. <laughs> we got to get a picture of that one, because that's, yeah. that's a big hybrid. I might be able to use your camera, maybe. Both, like traditional, and then and then I'll I'll use it. Wacky too. I just had a fire. I saw, dude. They're schooling in the middle of this thing. Look at that. Yeah. That's a striper. Let's go over there and catch those. Oh, I got one. Dude, I got a big one. What do I do? Do I go to the schoolers or do we catch them off this point? Leaving fish to catch fish. <laughs> Everybody always says that, don't they? Don't ever leave fish to catch fish. Boy, oh, he's spitting up hairy. Dude, they're schooling good right there. They're small ones, though. Can I hurry up and, dude, cast over my head? Oh, God, dude, they're everywhere. I wish, I, I'm gonna throw this thing in the floor and catch me whatever this is. Oh, my God, they're everywhere. Those are small striper. They're gonna want a small swim bait. Dude, look at that. Those are bass too, though. Watch this. Throw that down. Does anybody have a strike? I don't Oh. 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 Oh, finally got one. Oh, dude. Dude. Oh, you got him good. Thanks. Oh, it was a good large mouth too, dude. That was like a three pounder. Oh, my freaking word. 
Dude, look over there by the dock. Yeah. <laughs> Is that not incredible? You're recording? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Am I recording? Oh my oh. God. Dude, they're everywhere. A lot of them are striper though, don't be fooled. Some of them are, some of them are, we need a small three inch swim bait, I bet. Cause we didn't, we should have more strikes than that. Bait yeah, I oh, do this everything going on. Look behind you. Oh my God. Dude, that's unbelievable. Look at this, this chaos. Unbelievable. I had one on, but like five of them had to hit it before he got it. Oh, that's 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 striper there. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was so good. Oh my God, that was. I can't tell. It feels like a bass the way he's coming now. He's digging like a striper. Yeah, stripe. I knew it had to be, dude. Look at that. Un freaking believable. Dude, it's like an acre of them. Oh my God. This is that one instance where you do probably need something just a touch small. There is a minnows back here this, that's uh, a minnows that is uh, on a jig head that's already rigged up. But the worm, yeah, it'll catch the bass for sure. That won't be, there he is, there he is. Yeah, they, they look, that's actually one of the best things to do when they're schooling here, it's still a worm, when they get acting stupid. Oh, good largemouth, dude. It's a really good largemouth. Oh, it's more under, it was like five under it. Oh yeah. Cool. Holy smokes. Now that I have never seen, I'm sorry. Oh, got, one. got him. Brian's got one. I've got one. I got one. Oh, Tyler's got one. Ooh, got one. He's got one on the jerk bait. I don't know who to film. What I'm gonna put, what, uh, what you got, a large mouth? Put the camera on. I, seen yet, but it's I don't know who to put the camera. You got a big old large mouth. Oh, I got some big oh God, who did I film? Oh, Brian's got a freaking hammer. Oh, I got hooks in me, dude. Oh, oh, no, not now. Oh, my God. unconventional right there. Oh, my God. Everybody's got a fish. All right. He's got a freaking meat hammer on. What What does Tyler have on up here? I got a stripe. Big old striper on up here. Everybody's got... We need that one for a picture for sure. How much you Five, it's a five pounder, for sure, five pounder. Dude, fish everywhere, well, that, that was jerking, right Tyler? Jerking. Holy smokes. I don't know why I was like, I'm just gonna throw this out there. Yeah, yeah, that's a good, that, I do that all the time. Look out there, it's still schooling. How deep is it out there? We're setting in 21, 22, but there's a point right there. I was surprised Brian didn't catch, oh, there's one behind me. Oh, you got it that time. Got it that time. It's a bass too. That's a little striped. Look at all of them around him. Look at all the fish under that fish, dude. That's incredible. They still there? Well, they were up under him. And then, you know, of course, they see the boat and then they kind of. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Text here is fishing for spotted bass in the fall. Um, when they're kind of starting to suspend over the humps, main lake humps, stuff like that. And they start feeding on the real small thread fin shad. And it's really hard to catch them. Let me catch this fish first. That's a good one. That's a good one, dude. 
Not really, but you know. Um. So yeah, um, over the over the humps, brush piles, and things like that on the main lake, and uh, they're just feeding on thread fin shad. I can I can cover a lot of water with it. There's really not any other baits that's that size, that three inch size, that really small size that um, that you can cover that much water with on the main lake. So that's why it just works so well. There's another one. Little spotted bass on the fatties. One thing that I do notice with with uh, like the worm with straight fluorocarbon is kind of hard to catch up with them. You got like, oh shit, catch up with him. He's a pretty one. Eating my fatties down here. He's chunky. It's a pretty one. Got him? Good one? Spot. Can I get my camera in? Yeah. One. Another one. Speed glide. Cool, dude. That's what I've been talking about. Hey, so I bet that that was fun, wasn't it? That was a lot of fun. A lot of fish catches. Anytime in the spring when you can start catching fish on top water, life gets really good. Life gets really good when you can catch them on top water. So hope you enjoyed this video. Remember what I said at the beginning about sharing this video, making sure you subscribe, comment, and doing all that liking stuff that everybody on YouTube tells you to do in every video and you get tired of hearing it all the time because you just want to watch the video. People leave you alone. <sighs> Ran out of breath. Thanks for watching though.